Hi everyone. Hi. Happy holidays. I hope you're doing well. I'm sitting here in my office uh, not too long before Christmas. Happy holidays everyone. I hope I'm live. Uh, it looks like I am so that's good. Um, I am having so much fun shopping this year and I thought that I would share some of my shopping excitement with you. I got some great products for my friends and family members, a few things for myself too, uh, to treat myself because after all, this is my birthday month. Uh, my birthday is in a few days, so I'm definitely excited to have bought myself a few things. But um, I want to share some of the things that I've purchased from small businesses, locally owned businesses, family businesses from across the nation. Some of these products I purchased in, purchase, in person, actually many of them in person at uh, small business markets. Others I purchased at the company's retail stores and a few of them I purchased online. So I'm going to share with you what I bought and after I'm done I'm going to put links in the comments to where you can go and purchase any of these products and ask any questions that you have. So let me just say there is an emphasis on candles and wax melts here because that is my latest obsession actually right now. So let's get started. Um, the first product is a candle called Wildberry Pine. And I purchased this at a market in Washington, DC, which many of you know is my hometown. Um, the company is called Handmade Habitat and they have a small retail store inside this really cool street in Northeast Washington, not too far from Catholic University where I went to law school. They have a little street market there that um, has small spaces for makers to make their products and sell their products. And then from time to time, they have street fairs where people who don't have stores there can come and sell their products on the sidewalk area. And then the retailers are, of course, open. So this is the Wildberry Pine 9 ounce candle from Handmade Habitat. Isn't that pretty? And let me show you this. Okay, look at the bag that it came in. The bag that it came in has the same graphic as the graphic on the jar. Isn't that, isn't that adorable? It's called Wildberry Pine and it smells like sweet berries and pine like it's got a little bit of a woodsy scent to it but also it's sweetened by a little bit of a berry scent and here is the insert that came in the bag with the products look how pretty that is and when i went into the store the uh man and woman who own the business they are a couple and they had their little baby with them and it was really sweet to see the baby just kind of you know the um, the dad was holding the baby and the mom was, you know, walking around showing me things and helping me purchase and this is what I got. So handmadehabitat.co is the website. And uh, so that's the first product. Super excited to share. Okay, so the next one is one of my indie business network, network members right here in North Carolina. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite candle brands. Not just because the candles are awesome, but because uh, the, the maker, the founder and CEO of this company um, has just become a friend of mine and she's here in North Carolina, which is cool. She's also a soror. Shout out to Delta Sigma Theta. Um, and she also is very committed, not just to making awesome candles, but to hiring people in her local community. She does a really great job of training and just introducing people in her very, very, very small town in North Carolina to the, the beauty of entrepreneurship and giving them confidence and helping them learn how to do videos and how to be professional and how to run a business. It's just really so inspiring. The company is called Southern Elegance and their products are focused on candles and wax melts and they also have other things in their line, but their focus um, is candles and, and home fragrance. Um, their focus is on uh, scents of the South, Southern elegance, right? And I love this box. Look at this, like it's very sturdy. Your candles will probably not arrive broken at all unless somebody actually tries to do it. So I love that. This is the front of the box. 
The side of the box continues with really nice branding. There's information about the company on the back of the box, more information about scented candles and so forth and how the candles are made in small batches and their burn time and everything. And there's the bottom of the box, nice pretty sort of bronzy gold kind of matte color. So let me open it up for you so you can see what's in here. It's a candle, obviously. And uh, look at these candle jars. Isn't that nice? Now, I don't know if you know it, but I am a coffee fan, a complete coffee fan. I love coffee. So I got the fresh brewed coffee, which smells, not surprisingly, like fresh brewed coffee. Now, this does not smell like strong, strong fresh brewed coffee. Coffee. I have some other candles that do, which I also like. This one is not one of the stronger, like really deep, strong dark dark coffee smells it's a little lighter than that and so i love it for that reason i love them all um but that this is one in in particular in my case that's a, a little bit of a lighter coffee smell almost like coffee with cream as opposed to just you know just like straight black coffee really nice okay and then also from this company southern elegance i got some wax melts which are absolutely my newest latest craziness okay I can't help myself all right orange spice and bonfire nights both of them smell so good these are in clamshell packaging I'll show you one on the back you can see you can break them up into uh, squares that you can put in your wax melter and so I find that um, I put two in at a time and while I used to burn them for a really long time I have recently learned that you know you should change them out quite a bit like when you start to notice that the scent smells just change them out so I've been doing that and really enjoying them a whole lot more I used to be kind of lazy like I would just let them just stay in there and just turn the wax melter on and not pay much attention to it but um, when I asked my members in the Indie Business Network like what I should do I got some really great advice from our members and I'm super happy to have their input on how to use my products properly so Southern Elegance Candles Southern Elegance um, in North Carolina, secandleco.com. All right. Okay, let's see. Where am I going to go next? Okay, let's take a candle break and let's do chocolate. Let me just tell you. I went to a market earlier this month in Nashville, Tennessee called Porton. No, what was it called? Porter Flea. Porter Flea Market. Chocolate, y'all. Okay. So first let me show you. I bought a four-pack of the chocolate and this is how it's packaged I have not opened this one because I plan to give it as a gift so uh, this is how it's packaged there's four bars of handmade handmade do y'all hear me handmade chocolate in here all right but let me show you what I did do because I had to purchase another one so that I could open it and show it to you I had to do that right so I opened one and I got four chocolates to show you right now okay so uh, here, let's start with, let me start with my favorite. It was really hard to choose a favorite, but, and my favorite probably changes from time to time, but this is my favorite right now. It's pomegranate walnut dark chocolate. Look how pretty. Okay, let's see if I can help you with that light there. There we go. So you can see the walnut pieces, and you can also see the pomegranate, little uh, pinkish reddish pomegranate pieces in there. This was my favorite. And I am not a huge dark chocolate fan. I'm more of a milk chocolate fan. Well, maybe I should put that in the past tense, right? Because this was really good. The walnut, and I'm not a huge walnut fan either, but walnuts with the sweet taste of the um, dried pomegranate, it just really was a nice uh, combination uh, in my mouth, a really nice texture. The chocolate is very well made. It's all handmade by the maker, and it's just really delicious. So that's the pomegranate walnut. I think my sec second favorite is this saffron pistachio, which is white chocolate. Could you just look at that? Saffron and pistachio. Look at those pistachios. Yeah, really, really good chocolate, you guys. Really good chocolate. And the owner was there to answer people's questions about her products at her booth at the market at Porter Flea. Which, by the way, if you're ever in Nashville in December, 
and I think they also have one in the spring, and you like to buy from local artisans, you need to go to Porter Flea. I actually went there on a Saturday morning earlier this month uh, because I plan to go and see my dear friend uh, Kayla Fioravanti at Ology Essentials, which if you ever want some CBD products, you need to go there, by the way. Um, I went to visit her at her booth and I meant to stay like a couple hours or whatever. I ended up staying the whole entire day and booking another hotel night because I stayed at Porter Flea all day long. In fact, when I left, I was helping everybody uh, at Ology Essentials clean up a little bit. And uh, some of the other vendors in the area, in that area were like, are you still here? I'm like, yeah, I'm still here. That's how much I love to support and buy these amazing products because they're they're amazing. You cannot get products like this at regular stores. You just can't. And they're so much more readily available now than they've ever been on in the past on online and also at these great markets, which are so much fun to go to. Like the experience of being in the place where there is all this amazing creative and entrepreneurial energy. You can't get that online. You can't get it at a big box store. You can only get it in person. So if you have an opportunity, I'm sure there's a market. There's markets in like every city. Um, there's probably some this week, actually, because it's uh, the week before Christmas Day. So there's probably some last minute pop up markets and so forth. I would encourage you to check them out. You cannot get that kind of amazing positive energy anyplace else than the small businesses on Main Street who are really keeping the engine of this economy going. OK, more candles. All right. So let's go to Indiana where we have Portons on 15th Candle Company. This is another one of our members loving the sturdy box. Once again, so important when you have candles to have a sturdy box. Okay, so I got a couple of candles from them that I'm gonna show you. I got more than a couple, but I'm just gonna show you a few. Uh, this is an unusually unique scent called Campfire and Marshmallows. Campfire and Marshmallows. So. Those of you who like home scent, home fragrance, will probably know that there are a lot of candles that are designed to smell like your fireplace or a fire. Shape of little leaves. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Let me show you. Let me take one out so you can see a wax melt in the shape of a leaf. How cute is that? Like, you know, most of the times they come in clamshells. These come in a little jar of leaves. Oh, look, there's a price tag, $10 a jar. All right, so it looks like maybe there's about 20 in here or something. I didn't count them, so don't hold me to that. Um, but this um, is from Hemp Wick Candle at hempwickcandle.com. Again, didn't have a chance to visit in person, but I got them online. So the scents that I got are um, Holiday Nog, which is, uh-oh, I've mixed them up. Okay, so I have two, I have, I have two boxes of these, but what's interesting is Floor and Moon did it. Sleigh bells, y'all. Yum. Okay, so this is supposed to smell like pine, balsam, and bergamot. How can you not? Like, it smells so good. I'm totally not acting. 
I'm not overreacting. I just love it. And the good thing about this is that I bought two. Two. Because I had to get one for me. Because it's my birthday month. Like, isn't it great? Like, you know, there's a drawback to having a birthday in December. And that drawback is that um, when you're growing up, people bring you one present for your Christmas and your your birthday. Like, my, my parents didn't do that. My parents always separated. They were awesome. But other people who bring you gifts, and you're grateful, I'm grateful, but all my birthday presents would be wrapped in holiday wrap. You know, I was thankful, but um, and I'm always thankful and grateful, but it's just an observation, okay? So I always make sure I treat myself on my birthday, which you should too, no matter when your birthday is, but I digress. Anyway, sleigh bells, it's really, really, really nice. Okay, so I'll be burning candles for a while. But if you have any great candles that you want to tell me about, doesn't mean I won't buy some more. You know, some people buy music, some people buy shoes, purses, you know, whatever. I buy candles. I do. I do. It's a thing. Okay. So also, because I bought so many candles... Thing ever in the history of gifts that you can buy for little people. Okay, my nephew is going to be three. Actually, actually, today's his birthday. Wow. Thanks for the reminder. I got to call my nephew on his birthday. Okay, I bought this from a company called Oh Just Dandy. Oh Just Dandy. Yeah, did I tell you where the last stuff I bought was from? Oh, yeah, I did. Flora and Moon. Okay, I'll put a link. Okay. Oh, just dandy. Are you ready? Y'all aren't ready. Okay, let me get myself organized here. Okay, so my nephew. Happy birthday, nephew. I'm going to call you later today. Okay, so my nephew, my, my brother, who is my nephew's father, is amazing. Like, he is the best dad in the universe. And his wife, Anna, is the best mom in the universe. Like, obviously, you know, after me, the best mom. But just kidding. Anyway, they're amazing parents. And so this little boy is just being raised surrounded by love and also surrounded by creativity and outdoor activities. Like, I love this about how they're intentionally um, pouring into him love, which is obviously important, but also the idea of the world around you and how to take it in and how to participate in it. Um, as an active um, curator, really, of the world around you so that you can pick and choose, experience all the things in life and then pick and choose what you want to really, really focus on and incorporate in your life. So when I saw this, I had to get it for him. Cutest thing ever. Um, this is a treasure pouch. A treasure pouch. Like what three-year-old does not need a treasure pouch, you guys? Okay, so it's got a little print on it. Okay, this was the Sorry. I got myself a treasure pouch. Yes, I did. So, I guess adults would call this a fanny pack. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought I had to have one, right? The grown-up version, right? And kind of the girly version, too, because, you know, girly. Look at that. I can put my little treasures in there. I'll probably use it as a, um, as a fanny pack. Like, when I go on Indie Cruise, I'm going to Cabo next month on Indie Cruise with my members. Shout out, right? We're going down to Cabo San Lucas. We're going to go whale watching and exploring in Mexico. I'm going to take my treasure pouch with me. So excited. Okay, so after I saw the treasure pouch for him, look what I also saw and also had to get. All right, treasure pouch. Y'all, it's the matching backpack. Can you sand it? Look at this. Is this the cutest thing? It matches. The fabric is matching. This was actually, I think, the only matching one she had, and I was so excited about that. So look, there's some uh, vegan... Uh, faux leather down here and you can see it's adjustable look how adjustable it is on the back and look at the front it's 
got a little hook at the top so he can hang it like you know in the mudroom or whatever it's a snap I think it's a snap is it a snap yeah it's a snap you unsnap it that's the first time I unsnapped it so it was a little oh my goodness it's a snap and a zipper oh just dandy thought of everything look at this so it's not just a snap it's also a zipper and it's also lined look how well made that is my mother is a seamstress not a professional one although she could have been so I know good quality sewing when I see it because I grew up with it my mother made my father's ties y'all ties and suits suits that he wore to work Whew. okay look how cute I just think it's the cutest thing and then you snap it shut oh just dandy y'all and she was just delightful like as I was walking around Porter Flea which is where I got this every time I passed by her table or saw her through the cracks amongst the people I would just wave at her and she always waved back at me she was so kind and so fun and so nice so listen you know I'm gonna have to do a part two because believe it or not this is not everything I have some other amazing handmade artisan products I don't know when I'm gonna have time to share those with you but I will it'll be before I wrap them um, because they're not wrapped yet nothing's wrapped as you can see um, but I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you are inspired